We have new information on the state's investigation into Catholic dioceses. Last week, we told you two of the five people charged were priests in the Lansing Diocese. The statement from State Attorney General Dana Nessel gives more details about what led to the priest's removal from the Lansing Diocese. Now on Friday, Attorney General Dana Nessel announced several charges against 69 year old Timothy Crowley and 80 year old Vincent De Lorenzo. The AG's office says Crowley molested a boy at St. Mary Parish in Jackson and St. Anthony in Hillsdale. The Lansing Diocese says an allegation made against him in 1993 led to his removal from the ministry. A spokesman for the diocese says the organization received a complaint about Lorenzo of sexual abuse involving a minor back in 2002. Bishop Earl Boyer has released a statement on the charges. He says he welcomes the action, so quote, the truth can come out and justice may be served. Any priest who commits reprehensible acts against children does grave harm to victims. He betrays, he betrays rather the priesthood and the entire church. Now, Bishop Boyer says since 2002, seven additional complaints have been made against De Lorenzo. The Lansing Diocese has requested he be defrocked. They're waiting on a decision from Rome now. De Lorenzo is in custody in Florida. He's awaiting extradition to Michigan to face five charges. Crowley has since been defrocked and is in custody in Arizona. He faces six charges when he's extradited back to Michigan. Attorney General Dana Nessel says her team has only gone through five to 10% of the total information. As of right now, 21 total charges have been filed against five priests. Nessel says the clergy abuse tip line is responsible for nearly all of the charges and arrests. She says there may be hundreds or thousands more clergy abuse victims who have yet to come forward. More arrests and charges are expected to come in the future. We'll, of course, let you know when they do.